I believe this card is in such an interesting spot in the format right now, and that's Nibiru the Primal Being. Now, everyone knows what this card does and how powerful it is, and probably a staple in modern Yu-Gi-Oh! But uh, what if I told you guys this card is probably not the best card right now? Well, let's go ahead and check out why that's the case, right? So the best deck right now, obviously, or most played deck, is definitely the Pure Snake Eyes deck, followed up by Tenpai Dragons and the Voices Voice decks. These would be the top three decks, and now I know there's a lot more decks in this entire format, which kind of sucks because, you know, competitively, you can't side for everything, right? But for the most part, these are going to be your top three decks that you're looking out for when you're entering an event, and you definitely should have a game plan against all of them. Now, the funny thing about Nibiru, actually, is, um, well, let's think about it. It's unusable against Tenpai, pretty much unusable against uh, Voices Voice, I guess, unless they somehow decide to link off their Omni Negate for, like, Dino Mundo or something, which isn't gonna realistically happen, and it's okay against Snake Eye Ash because you need it as a pair, right? But that's kind of common with any other hand trap, to be honest. Now, I think Nibiru is still a staple, to be honest, right? Now, I do understand that it's unusable against the matchups that I just mentioned. However, I do think this is still one of the best cards against Snake Eyes, right? Now, I know a lot of people are going to argue that, like, oh, it's actually not that good because they can always play around it. But to be fair, let's just be honest here. I've mentioned this many times in a lot of videos. If you draw one hand trap, it doesn't matter what it is. If it's Ash Blossom, if it's Valor, if it's, Infer if it's Nib, they're not going to work, right? For the most part, right? I know sometimes you can imperm Snake Eye Ash and they pass, but let's just be a little bit realistic here. That may happen maybe one out of every 10 games. Not impossible, but uh, not, you know, too often uh, for that matter, right? But I still think Nibiru is absolutely amazing, right? Now, I do think this card, while it is a little bit worse this format, actually makes this card better. Now, this is, this is actually why I decided to make this video, because I actually want to talk about a topic that, uh, you know, happens in Yu-Gi-Oh! a lot that I don't think a lot of people really think about, right? And it's cards that are, once they get to a point where they're considered bad, it does become good again, right? Yu-Gi-Oh! always has this, like, cat and mouse game with tech cards, and I think it's pretty funny, right? You can also see these in, uh, see this example in cards such as, like, Evenly Matched, right? This card very terrible when people know it exists but once people stop playing it and it's considered like not in the meta it becomes pretty annoying honestly right we even have like situations where people like assume you're just trying to bait them with talents so they don't activate anything in the main phase and they just get destroyed by evenly but that only essentially works if you know people don't play this card if this card is a staple card then everyone's gonna yeah obviously play cards in their main phase so on and so forth right or at least attempt to play around it by you know not setting everything playing more hand traps so on and so forth and i think that's the same case with nibiru right while this card is only good against snake eyes one of the key things is that snake guys just cannot beat this card with one another hand trap and two playing into a board right a lot of times you, they have to actually disrespect this card to go wide go big or, or go home especially when they're cracking a board and especially since this card is considered pretty bad right now i think that makes it shine even more uh, but however i wouldn't say this card is a uh, main deck worthy card due to the other matchups but i do think this card is still very solid in the side i see a lot of people cutting these cards for you know very i would say valid reasons but i don't think you should because this card is still really insane against Against the matchups that it's good against it's really good as a pair card against snake eyes and i do think just having this card in your deck while a regular snake eyes player you know when i say regular i mean people who don't play nib uh i think it gives you an insane advantage actually right because while you know two card combos of any other hand trap could stop them I think Nib plus another hand trap is almost guaranteed to stop them, right? And also having the Nibiru body on field for you to be able to play through like Imperm is really good, right? Just having that Nibiru body, then on your turn, you summon your Snake Eye Ash. If it gets Impermed, you still can go Hita. If your Hita gets stopped, you can crash the Hita and then get like Popular, for example, right? So I do think there's so many ways for you to actually utilize this card other than the actual effect. And once again, it just gets stronger when people don't know of this card's existence, right? So that's going to be it for this one. I know it was a short, quick video, but I did want to talk about this card because I have been seeing so many people cut this card. And I'm telling you guys, like, it's really good still, just probably not in the main deck. But I don't think you should cutting be cutting this card completely because it is getting a buff uh, due to the fact that people don't think it exists, right? So... Uh, uh, if you guys made it this far and you guys enjoyed today's discussion, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, let me know if you guys, uh, let me know your thoughts on this card, right? Are you guys playing it? Are you guys, have you, have you guys been cutting it? Um, you know, throw it back in your deck, right? I think it's really good. And let me know. So I'll catch you out in the next one. Peace.